Why are you sitting like this? You just relax, Kidogo. I'm relaxed. <laughs> Why are you like sitting like this? Well, what's wrong? Is it irritating you? <laughs> Is it irritating your generation? <laughs> sit like a girl. <laughs> what like what a do girl. you mean sitting like a girl? <laughs> I'm going to sit how I want to sit. That's the thing. Like, you guys, I, this is something my mom always tells me. I like wearing short dresses, like what you're wearing. Mm -hmm. And I would totally sit, you know, sit the way yeah. I want because... Yeah, okay. but yeah. I get that. Yeah. Um, I try and teach my daughter. But, you know, because of the environment, mm. I mean, I can't really sit like this when I'm wearing this. I mean, why not? But, but this, this, is what I, this is what I mean. I mean, why not? You see, that's the thing. You, you tell your sitting. daughter to sit nicely or do you tell her, sit like a girl? No, I just tell her, put, see, Ariana, put your legs together. You are an exception. Yeah. My auntie from India <laughs> would tell me to just sit like a girl. And yeah. I don't understand what the whole business is. In fact, the way we were raised, I don't know about, I don't know, like for me, I think I would raise my kids quite differently. Yeah. Like, I would never compare it. In fact, it reminds me of a story. When I was growing up, swimming classes, my parents um, voluntarily put me into it. I, li I loved swimming. Yeah. But my friend, her name, um, her, I, can't, I, mean, I can't say her name yeah. anyway. Her, my friend, what happened to her is her mom used to literally throw her into the pool by force so she could learn how to swim. And I felt so horrible for her because I loved swimming. But her theory was, oh, look, this guy's daughter can swim so well. Why can't you swim well? Oh. You're so scared. And I'm like, this is something that needs to end. Be it your grades and what you can do, your accomplishments. Like, oh. st but stop comparing us yeah. to your neighbor's child. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so, okay. So this is something that we were brought up with. Yeah. There was always a comparison. There's always a competition. Yeah. It's always like, uh, you need to, yeah, you need to be top of the class you, yeah I still see it yeah I still see it I'm very aware of, uh, very aware of it yeah I don't want to be that person are you trying is it like hurting you not to be that person because you, you know, know deep down inside <laughs> if it wasn't for my husband yeah I would be that person ha huh. I so would because it's very easy yeah uh, because we've been brought up with it yeah and I'm not denying it yeah I'm not standing up for my generation here, right? Yeah, because it's absolutely bonkers. So it's easy to get sucked into it if you don't recognize what you're doing to your children. It's that whole thing of don't teach a frog to fly, mm -hmm. don't teach a frog to, you know, you can't compare a frog to an eagle because they both have different talents. This is called self-actualization. This is what I was me. talking about. Yes. Well done. But this is what I'm trying yeah. to say. Okay, there's a whole thing about not comparing it, yeah, okay? That's yeah, one thing. Yeah. What about the second thing that I feel like your generation has put so much pressure on our generation to grow up, to do this, be that, be okay, this. Okay, let me that. tell you something. Our time. generation, when we were your age, yeah. we were bad asses. Not to say you're not bad asses, but you're just a bit wishy-washy, dilly-dally. It's not wishy-washy. Not being, you know, a bit no. serious about stuff. serious you see this is what i'm trying to say <laughs> like just because nimrat likes three different types of pizzas doesn't yeah. mean she's not serious just focus. because you want to eat a hawaiian for the rest focus. of your life focus 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 you know i mean i think the thing with your generation is that you guys just think it's all gonna be easy we don't think huh. you've made our life harder. We're trying to make it easier, actually. That's the difference. Because first of all, there's that whole expectation. Yeah. You're pitting kids against each other. Leave that. That's just your classmate or your yeah. neighbor's kid. In siblings as well. Like if in your generation, you had about four kids average. Yeah, yeah aside from you. Yeah. But four kids average. And you would always compare the first born with the last born, not yeah. understanding they're two different personalities. They're never going to be that. one child. I don't deny that. And then you um, have that pressure that, oh, you need to better be successful. That thing needs to end. Yeah. Like the whole measurement of success is a good business or whatever it is for you at that point. Yeah. But that whole push, be successful, be something. Why? But why is that wrong? I mean, why is it not a Because good it's thing not to done challenge? the right way. What, if I tell you, yeah. if I challenge you today, you guys get afraid of challenge. You're like, oh, oh my we're God. Not, no, this is the thing. We're <laughs> not so afraid scary. of, <laughs> we're not afraid of challenge, but I feel like the approach is wrong. Yeah. Like you guys are like, do, 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 do. Not here, let me help you do what you have to but do. But why must it's like you I'm be a boss. helped? And why not? I don't get this. You see, this is the thing with, with the, the Zenial, uh, is is it Zenials, mm -hmm. Gen Zenials, Z, yeah. Millennials, the mixture to some extent. Yeah. 
I mean, this hand holding stuff. Mm -hmm. I gotta hold your hand mm -hmm. so that you can do every little thing. <laughs> no. Why? See, that's where you're getting it wrong. Uh, For you people, holding hands you people. means you people. <laughs> you people. Yeah. You people. It, holding hands means I'm helping you in a meek. For you people, helping is like. The person who you're helping is meek. Is weak. Like it's like Tan, mm. for us helping is like I'm strong and you're strong. Let's be strong together. Is that's it? the difference. But this is maybe something we can learn from you because yeah. I think that's very important. It's good that you guys are aware of that. Yeah. Because our generation, in a way, cannot admit yeah. that we are weak. We would like to do everything on our own. We like to see. There's a superiority success. complex. Yeah. That's it, and that all boils down to you raising see, your children. What is this? This generation, <laughs> it's a superiority you, complex. No, wait, hang on a second. You people, here I am, <laughs> eating peeps. humble pie <laughs> and enjoying it, and you come and put like tons of salt on it and spoil the taste in my mouth. I'm admitting that maybe yeah. our generation have gone wrong in that way. How come your generation can't just be like, okay, cool, thanks for that, we appreciate it. You rubbing it in our faces so that you know where you screwed up. So the next time we do something, but I'm saying we're you know aware. where it's coming from. No, but you guys. But you also. see, there's awareness and then there's acceptance. Uh -huh. Yeah, you yeah. can be aware, but you don't accept it. No, but we can. <laughs> we are graceful in that aspect. We can. We can accept. It's That's not that where we the can't. superiority complex comes. Look at you. I accepted. Look at you not accepting. <laughs>